The Marquette City Commission approved legal counsel in response to Marquette General Hospital's tax valuation t challenge. When MGH became a for-profit institution, the city had its property appraised and the hospital is protesting that appraisal. The taxes in question would amount to about $200,000. So this will go to a tax tribunal at the state. The city will have to basically fight that case to uh, maintain the appraisal that we came up with. So this special counsel is a, is a counsel that has experience in these areas, you know, dealing with a tax tribunal. So it will be a pretty expensive uh, undertaking, but it's something that we really have no choice to do. Hiring legal counsel is estimated to be around $100,000. In total, the city could lose up to $300,000. The commission was not pleased with the way the hospital brought up the tax valuation issue and has said it's not a good way to build community relations. They threw us under the bus, and this is what we have to deal with now. So anyways, uh, I know how everybody feels, and I believe the residents and other communities are also going to have to go through this that are probably associated with uh, DLP. And uh, I'm not saying we're the only community that's going to be going through this. So. Marquette General requested the state tax tribunal after a hospital's property value was appraised during the sale to Duke Life Point last September. MGH released the statement earlier today to help clarify their stance. With the acquisition of our hospital by Duke LifePoint Healthcare in September 2012, Marquette General became a tax paying entity and a significant source of tax revenue for our community. We are committed to supporting our community by fully meeting our new tax obligations. As is cu customary with a transition from tax exempt to tax paying status, Marquette General retained a valuation company to work in collaboration with the muni municipality to determine the valuation of our assets and the related tax assessment. This is a standard process and it is not uncommon for discussions to take place regarding the determination of fair and acceptable assessed value. We feel confident that this process will result in an outcome that is fair and satisfactory for our hospital and the community.